terrorists are very likely to try to carry out attacks in Thailand. The Foreign Office has long warned. The travel advice continues. There were explosions in Bangkok in April and May 2017, and there were multiple explosions and incidents in tourist areas across Thailand in August 2016. The latest attack at Yala in the far south of Thailand, which left three dead and 22 injured, must now be added to that list. The bombing is the latest bloody twist in the Islamist insurgency in the far south of the country, where martial law still prevails. The Foreign Office says, since 2004, there have been almost daily attacks in Thailand deep south, including arson, bombings and shootings. Targets have included civilians and members of the security forces, government offices, tourist hotels, discos, bars, shops, marketplaces, supermarkets, schools, transport infrastructure and trains. Over 7,000 people have been killed and several thousand more injured. Danger Zone The Foreign Office warns against all but essential travel to the area. In Orange Foreign Office unsurprisingly, the Foreign Office warns against travel to the region, comprising the provinces of Patani, Yala, Narathawat and Songkla. The U.S. State Department says, citizens are at risk of death or injury due to the possibility of indiscriminate attacks in public places in those provinces, and notes U.S. government employees must obtain special authorization to travel to these provinces. The main rail and road link between Thailand and Malaysia passes just to the west of the area, and has a heavy security presence. Australia's official travel advice says public order and security incidents, including terror attacks, continue to pose risks to travellers throughout Thailand, exercise a high degree of caution in Thailand due to the possibility of civil unrest and the threat of terrorist attack, including in Bangkok and Phuket. Pay close attention to your personal security at all times. More about Thailand Travel Foreign Office U.S. State Department reuse content.